hi friends hope you are all doing fine now on popular request today I have a new video and that is about how to get a postdoctoral position in India and essentially one of the most popular and most prestigious postdoctoral fellowships you can get in India are known as the National Postdoctoral Fellowships NPDF now this is essentially given by the body known as SERB, S-E-R-B, which is Science and Engineering Research Board. So if you go to this body, you will see they have a lot of information about different aspects of science and technology, and they essentially manage the infrastructure related to science and technology within the country. Now let's look at some of the requirements for this PDF or postdoctoral fellowship. The first is you have to be a citizen of the country. So you have to be an Indian citizen. You should have a PhD degree, though in some cases you can also go for it with an MD degree and so on. And those who are also completing the degree at this point or who are all but finished can also ap apply for this fellowship. But you need to keep in mind that you should be finishing your PhD pretty quickly. Now as usual with the Indian type of requirements you have 35 years as the age limit. Now this is for general candidates it is relaxed in the case of candidates coming from some special castes as well as women and people who have physical problems or disabled people as such. Now essentially as in most fellowships you need to find a mentor, you need to find a host and this person should be at an established or certainly recognized university or research institution. So this is going to be an important part of the process. You need to figure out this host. Now typically this host should not be your PhD guide or a co-guide and you should not try to go for the same department or the same university so generally these are listed as some of the conditions so I think you should follow that in general because these processes are very much favorable to people who are going somewhere else in a different institution maybe with a different supervisor and trying to learn some new techniques so you will probably spend a lot of time figuring out the appropriate host now there are a lot of very renowned scientists who are working within India and uh, you can of course identify them through the institution web pages. You can also find them out from Google Scholar, look at their publications. You need to figure out what is the area they are working in and of course you need to write a draft proposal. So very often you may need to write a very short proposal, maybe one page or something before you go ahead and write a detailed proposal and before you spend time writing a detailed proposal make sure with your prospective host that he or she is willing to host your visit and is willing to do the necessary paperwork he or she may have to do for this particular PDF fellowship. Now this fellowship is typically for a two-year period. You get a salary of about 55,000 rupees per month plus a HRA to take care of your needs for staying in that town or location. You also get a 2 lakh per year grant which is essentially to buy different type of contingencies, consumables, domestic travel, small, small equipment and so on. And you may also get a smaller grant uh, for some more expenses. So again these things do keep changing from time to time. At the time I am making this video these are some of the requirements. and. Uh, of course the fellowship is going to be reasonably competitive it does provide you an opportunity of going from your current institution where you are doing your PhD degree and maybe going to a different institution with a different scientist and getting a different perspective on the problems you are doing so like I mentioned before whenever you go for a postdoc you don't have to limit yourself to exactly your PhD problem or even your department in fact it is better to go for a different type of problem and of course go for a different department in some cases. So if you are somebody from civil engineering 
you can certainly go for a postdoc in mechanical engineering department or something like that you will have to come up with some problem which is suitable for that department now there is a web page for this i think it is uh, serb.gov.in and then there is a backslash npdf.php so generally i would say that the web page serb.gov.in gives you a lot of information not only you have uh, funding for postdocs within the country but you may also be able to go to foreign locations to do postdocs so sometimes these are also provided look carefully at this web page it has a lot of information not only about postdoc but also about the typical fellowships you can get later in your life as you venture on this particular path so this was my background to you in terms of one of the important fellowships for postdoctoral research you can get in India and this is very useful for people who want to stay in the country remember it's only valid for Indian citizens so that's certainly a restraining factor if you are a foreign citizen as of what I read today it may not be possible for you to get this fellowship but it may be possible if you are a non-resident person who is of Indian citizenship so do check out that and any further information you can probably ask the people who are at the helm of this particular fellowship which would be given on the web page so I hope you enjoy this video and do subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for further videos on such topics see you soon